but that's all right. Yo guys, what is up? Max on a Borderlands 3 video and today we are going over the Manuel shield which is a new shield in Vault Card 3. Now the Manuel reads on slam drain your shield and give you 70% damage reduction and bonus shock damage until your shield is empty. Now there is some really cool potential interactions with this shield that we can do it today. We're going to test them out. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe and let's get right into this. All right, so my first thought with this was if we can never drain our shield, if we can maintain our shield all the time, then we could constantly upkeep 70% damage reduction and bonus shock damage. And no character does that better than Bloodletter Moe's with uh, the um, healing, the lifesteal from Russian Offensive, plus like throwing grenades with Vampire. We could possibly keep up this shield and constantly keep up damage reduction and shock damage which would be crazy the revolter is an insane shield but it doesn't work great on Moe's because it's hard to maintain that shock damage all the time this could give us survivability and constant shock damage which could be an incredibly new helpful shield for uh, Moe's bloodletter builds if the shield drains all the way though i'm gonna be at one health because i am rocking a deathless so as much shield capacity as i can get uh just kind of random skill tree spec right now uh oh i should have put points into big surplus i mistaked mistake there uh but i just want to see if we can upkeep this shield um and keep this damage reduction so we're gonna slam you'll see we've got like blue borders now and now we should just see if we can uh maintain this shield and constantly get this damage reduction it could be really this looks like it's working <laughs> so we're gonna constantly have this ring as long as we can upkeep our shield we're gonna constantly keep this damage reduction and that shock damage and all we need to do is uh oh well we can still kill ourselves <laughs> just mows things all right re-slam this is kind of sick i don't know if in terms of uh like actual dps output this could really keep up with like an infernal wish for uh keeping up all those multiple shots but uh, for all that damage reduction, not that Moses isn't going to kill herself anyways, uh, but pretty freaking sick. Uh, and the shield effect is really cool. I don't see another character using this better than Moe's. Um, as you can see, self-damage still got the best of me. Mm -hmm. All right, so I did die there and I was curious. Uh, it looks like this is a percentage-based drain. So even with crazy shield capacity, uh, if I go Bloodletter Deathless here, uh, let's find our Deathless. Uh, right here, I'm going to have like hundreds of thousands of shields. I think I'm at like 200,000 shield right now. I'm going to wait for this to get full to show you guys. Wait for this to get full. Yeah, we're sitting around a little bit over 200k. Look how fast this goes down on my slam. So it looks like it's percentage-based shield regen, which means that uh, it's going to be a little bit harder to upkeep that bonus than I thought. So there's our shields all the way down. Now, if we switch to something like a Blast Master with a Company Man, our shield's gonna be way less. Uh, now we're sitting at, looks like around 89K. Slam again. And the shield is draining. It looks like about the same rate. So even though this is uh, pretty nuts, you do gotta like constantly keep up that, that lifesteal. I think maybe this could be nutty with the crit. Uh, if you could keep up the lifesteal, because the crit's gonna have that inherent lifesteal, maybe this would work a little bit better so we're gonna do another run uh let's try it with the crit and see if uh we can then keep this up a little bit better uh, we're gonna go back to i guess our shield capacity doesn't matter too much uh but let's go back to the uh the crit maybe instead of a deathless we'll rock a pearl see what happens we're gonna use the crit slam see if we can get up keep it Oh, this also could work with the sap. Ah, uh, no, because sapper will go to your health, not your shield. We need blood letter. Need the blood letter to get it to go to our shield. This should bring our shield up, though. All right, so let's slam. Proc this. Yeah, that's going to work. Oh, you know. So with this working like that, now we're going to get damage reduction and healing. And a bunch of damage. 
we could go into a uh, a full like life steal build with this uh with uh never reloading go full like bottomless mags to never reload with this thing with the crit keep up this and it's possible i don't know at the time i'm making this video but uh the mana well looks look like it's getting random rolls so we could possibly get a one shotter mana mana well if this thing can come with amp and then you would have this shock damage you'd have amp on every shot you'd have healing uh this thing's got potential not as crazy as some of the other items we went through uh but this is looking really good i'm uh constantly keeping up the shield constantly keeping my damage reduction uh and constantly keeping up that shock damage which is pretty sick uh all we need to do now is fix our uh fix our reloading all right guys that is the manuel uh just a little bit of testing on it i might have a full build out with this thing um but i do want to share that with you i hope you guys have been enjoying this update it's pretty sick all the new items are uh genuinely cool uh some of the other vault cards that we've had we've had some pretty hit or miss items uh so far everything that i've tried has been pretty freaking awesome we'll have the other videos out on the way i'll catch y'all in the next one guys take care peace one last thing that i forgot to mention is this shock damage bonus is universal for your character so similar to like the revolter if i slam and activate this shock damage now my melee is going to have a shock proc to it uh my grenades are going to have shock damage uh think of this as the revolter it'll work with things that work with the revolter uh this isn't going to work for like iron bearer cub but for things like rack attack it should uh for phase cast it should for melee it should uh so all around pretty cool shield not going to be getting as much damage out of this thing as a revolter but you are getting that damage reduction and it should be useful for some nifty uh some nifty builds also real quick uh if you do slam uh you can bug out the shield visually so that i no longer have the shield but i'm going to keep this effect but it is only a visual effect you do not get the shock damage or the damage reduction uh even though uh the visual effect is still on your screen so uh, even fast traveling, you can't bug out this shield. So working as intended and is going to uh, see now, even though I have the effect, not getting any shock damage on those grenades, not getting any shock damage on my melee. Uh, but as soon as I slam again, uh, it'll reactivate it. Now we got our shock damage and, and everything's all good. All right, guys, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Take care. Peace. I was playing.